What's going on guys, John the Video Guy here. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about shy layers inside Adobe After Effects. This little guy right here, what is he and what does he do? But first, feel free to subscribe. I post After Effects and Premiere Pro tutorials weekly and be sure to hit the like button. It really helps my channel out. With that, let's dive into it. So probably one of the first times I came across the shy guy so probably one of the first times I came across the Shy Guy was actually using an Adobe After Effects template. And template creators often use the Shy to Shy layers that you know people shouldn't be messing with. If you think about how After Effects templates are organized, you know you download it, you don't really know the nuts and bolts of actually what went into creating it, but you just wanna maybe change the color and change the text or the position or whatnot, and basically hide all the other things. And that's essentially what Shy layers do. They essentially hide certain layers and they still render out in the final product. So for example, here on my screen, I have an example of an After Effects template that I downloaded from Digital Juice. And if you don't see these switches here or the Shy Guy, you can click the toggle switches button down below and now you'll see them. And there's basically two options you can choose from. There's the Shy or the Not Shy Guy. When a layer is shy and when this switch is activated, those layers are hidden in the timeline panel, but they are still rendered and visible in the composition panel. And if you go to export it, it's still rendering out. So shy layers don't necessarily hide, you know, from being rendered, but they hide it from the timeline. So you can see it really cleans up the timeline a lot, giving you a lot more space to work with. Now you can make changes at any time. You can click once to unshy layers, or you can click and drag to shy all of them, or click and drag to unshy all of them and really determine which layers get shy and not shy. For example, if I'm working in this template here, maybe I wanna shy these you know, solid layers. So I'll just click and shy these. And often when you're working with mats, it can get pretty complex. Maybe you wanna hide the mat of the actual shape that the mat's in. You can select those layers and click the shy button to shy them. That way when you toggle the shy guy, those layers are hidden and you only see the layers that you really wanna mess with. So that's the shy button. And if you're curious on what this button does, I did make a video going over that. I'll link it right up there. Feel free to go watch it. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.